uh, and it is ridiculous. So uh, one point, they just came out with numbers already. 1.7 million illegals have already crossed through our southern border. 540,000 are staying. They say they send 60 percent back. I doubt that. Congressman Tony Gonzalez says it gets worse than that. Some of these people coming across terrorists. Listen. I just met with the foreign minister of Panama. She goes, you know, there, there's over 100,000 migrants coming through Panama on their way to the United States as we speak. And she goes, funny you ask that, Tony, because in Panama, we do biometrics and we have apprehended 52 people that have been associated, that are associated with Al Qaeda. Wow. wow. Your reaction. Yeah. Well, I heard the same thing uh, a few weeks ago from the foreign minister of Panama, so it's pretty consistent. What happens is this. Panama is kind of like the choke point after the Darien Gap crossing over from South America. Migrants, some of whom have been living in these other countries, Chile, Colombia, for many years, now have decided I'm going to make a move and move towards the United States. Panama is the first country on that route that actually stops people and sort of assesses who they are and, and takes biometrics and so forth. And, and so you're going to catch people. And they're from, coming from all over the world. I mean, we're talking about tens of thousands of people that are en route as we speak across multiple countries in the Western Hemisphere, but all going through there, and they'd all have to come through Panama as they get into the, as they try to come to the United States. That's the first country that actually stops people and assesses who they are, and, uh, and, and the administration knows it, and there's tremendous frustration. In fact, I've heard that they have threatened threatened. This administration, the Biden administration, has threatened government leaders in Panama not to complain too much, to stop talking about this, to stop making a big deal out of it, or there's going to be consequences for our country's relationship. They've told them to stay quiet and stop talking about it.